Okay, so what I want to look at today is how to um, do an SQL injection um, example. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a sudo apt update. I'm um, doing this on my Kali machine and the, well, we're going to install a program called the Docker. Now if you've never used Docker before, uh, the word buzzword nowadays is containers. A container is kind of like a VM, a virtual machine, but not really because it's a lot smaller, so much more minimal footprint, runs a lot faster, much more easily disposable and usable. Um, and it will satisfy our purposes today. So apt install docker.io. Uh, so we're going to install Docker, which is going to provide container functionality for us to allow us to run a vulnerable web application that we can then do an SQL injection for. Okay, now that it's installed Docker, we can do something like sudo docker ps. I hate running stuff as sudo if I don't have to, but since this is just a Kali uh, instance that I'm, um, what do you call it, uh, just running uh, live mode, I don't have a hard disk installed, that should be okay. So it shows that there's no images running. What we want to do is we want to install all of our vulnerable web apps. So I'm going to do sudo docker run uh, it minus p8080 vulnerables web db dwa. What that does really quick is it tells the Docker daemon to run this instance. This is a lo located over on Docker Hub. DBWA, damn vulnerable web app, has a bunch of vulnerabilities that we can use to test our SQL injections. Uh, this says run it in an interactive terminal. This says uh, it's going to be running a web app using Apache on port 80. We're going to tell it to send it back to our local machine on port 80. And minus minus RM says delete it when we're done. So. We're going to run that and it's going to it's going to say oh, i can't find it. i got to go ahead and download it so we'll wait for that to download okay it looks like it's downloaded and it's running and we should see something like that uh, and it's actually should lo load up a website so i'm going to i don't know just load up firefox and go to if it'll load here let's see here local host 80. And there's our web app that is running inside our Docker container. The credentials for this are admin and password. This is a very insecure web app, uh, just for demonstrating purposes of what we're doing today. And you could demonstrate a lot of other things like cross-site scripting and stuff. So let's see. The first um, thing I'm going to check out says, oops, cl click on the correct, create database button below to get things all working. So I'm going to click on create reset database. Um, it should have said, oh, that kicked me out. So let's log back in admin. Thanks. Okay, so there we are. And we can always go over to this menu uh, and set up and reset the database whenever we want um, or destroy the container and rerun it again because it's not going to persist anyways. There's a lot of different web vulnerabilities we can test over there on the left-hand side. Uh, if we look at SQL injection, um, SQL injection is mainly used when we have a web form and they don't validate our input correctly. If we can somehow um, escape out of their expected um, input and inject something that they're passing to a database and then um, manipulate or view the database contents, that's, an, that's a database injection. So the idea here is if I put in a user ID like two or one or something, it would, it would, I guess the app is designed to show me information about that user. So that's how it's running. Now, um, if you can contrive a, um, if you know your SQL well enough 
and you see that maybe all that they're doing in their code is they're expecting you to type in a number one, for example, and then, so they might have something like select star from uh, whatever, their, their user table where ID is equal to, you know, and then, then they're expecting you to pass something in there. And in fact, it might be something like this. So there, that question mark is what this form field is filling out. And if they can get, if you can trick it, instead of passing in like a number one there, if you can manipulate that SQL query to have it do whatever you want, then that's an SQL injection. So I'm gonna do a percent. Let's see, I did this one right here. So, uh, oops, oh, that's working anyways. Um, so basically I, I tell inside that SQL query, uh, select star from users where ID is equal to percent, then I close that query, or I say one is equal to one, and I don't put a close, um, sorry, not a, a close quote there, and their code will pick it up, then I hit submit. I've just done an SQL injection, and I've dumped the whole table. So that's what an SQL injection is, just, just putting in a, a fancy SQL query that uh, will allow access that the programmer shouldn't have allowed you to access.